Hello, friends. Today, we're going to read the story, When Grandma Gives You a Lemon Tree. Now, normally, we read the story or we talk about the pictures. Today, when we read our story, we're going to do both. There is a lot of information in the pictures in this story that's important. So now in this picture, ooh, what do we see? Yeah. Do you see the little girl in the window? Mm -hmm. Do you see the yellow car? Yeah, look at that. It's got balloons coming out of it. And take a look. This is important too. There's an empty lot. When Grandma Gives You a Lemon Tree. Written by Jamie Dinahan. Illustrated by Lorraine Rocha. You were hoping for one of these. Birthday wish list, robot dog, drone, computer, phone, remote control car, headphones. Hmm. Now let's take a look at the picture. Who do you think that is waving? Coming in with the birthday balloons. But surprise, it's a lemon tree. What should you do when grandma gives you a lemon tree for your birthday? First of all, act excited. Your face should look like this, not this. And definitely not this. Next, say something polite. Try, thank you. Just what I needed. Keep smiling until grandma leaves or falls asleep. And do not harm your lemon tree. Don't drop it off a bridge. Tie it to your birthday balloons. Play ding dong ditch the lemon tree. Now listen closely. This is important. Place your lemon tree in a sunny spot. Be careful not to overwater and prepare for battle against intruders. Hmm, I wonder what that dog is thinking. <laughs> Me too. When winter arrives, keep your lemon tree warm. Then wait. Do you see what she's reading? She's reading a book called, So You Own a Lemon Tree. Now what? I think she wants to learn more. And wait, and wait some more. Now look at this picture. She named her lemon tree Lola. For those of you who might not know, Lola in Tagalog, which is a language they speak in the Philippines, Lola means grand grandma. Once the snow melts, it's time to bring your lemon tree back outside. Well done. Sure, you can decorate your lemon tree or hide behind it. Come out, come out wherever you are. But you know what's even more fun? Picking lemons. Woohoo! Pick them, slice them, 
squeeze them. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze a roux. Ta da! Now you have lemon juice. You didn't think I'd just leave you with lemon juice, did you? Of course not. Remember those gifts you were hoping for? It's good you're staying focused. Oh, look, she's adding a number seven. I wonder what that is. Gather these items. One, lemon juice. Check. Two, water. Check. Three, a pinch or a handful of sugar. Check. Four, flashy lemonade stand. Cue a dazzling smile and ka -ching. Count your cash and head to the store. Now you can finally buy exactly what you want. Oh, what do you think she's going to get? The headphones or the drone? Hmm. Let's see. Something you can really enjoy. Look at what she purchased. Lots and lots of flowers and plants. I want you to notice on this picture that the kids just happened to be playing with some of the things that she really wanted and that was on her birthday wish list. There's a kid flying a drone out the window. There's a young lady with her robot dog and someone with a remote control robot. And there also looks like there's a young lady taking a selfie with a phone. Hmm. And share with others. Look at the vacant lot now. And look on the sidewalk. There's the robot dog and the remote control car and the drone. And the kids are in the garden that she made. I also want you to notice Look on the step by the door. There's the original pot that the lemon tree came in. Do you think she's planting another one? It's really little. I wonder. And take a look at this picture here. This is the last page of our story. And look. Everyone has some plants out now. And that is the end of our story, When Grandma Gives You a Lemon Tree. I hope you enjoyed our story.